Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3T Path channel. My name is Giri Dari Das and today we'll be talking about discouragement and pessimism, how to not get into them and how to get out of them if you're experiencing this now. Now what happens is, it's quite simple. What is discouragement? You become discouraged because you created an expectation of what reality should be and then reality comes around and fails your, that's the key point, your expectation. So then you become discouraged because you're thinking it's going to be this and it's this, it's going to be this and it's this, and you're like, okay, you know, now I don't want to do anything anymore because I always think it's going to be A, but then it comes B. So you become discouraged. And then pessimism, kind of similar, you know, you start thinking, okay, everything just always turns out wrong, you know, because I always think I'm going to get the thing I want and I have success. And I'm going to triumph and then instead I don't triumph or something else happens. It's not quite the way I expected it to be. So here we can start seeing some clues as to what's really going on. <clears throat> so these two things, discouragement and pessimism, they're going to start when you become disconnected with the here and now. In your mind, I always explain this in the 3T path, your mind has the tendency to go to the past, usually in lamentation, or to go to the future in hankering, desiring material goals in your life. So when you do that, I call this the fantasy paradigm. Why is it the fan? Because it's not reality, right? You've disconnected yourself from reality. Where is reality happening? Only right here and now. This is the only thing that's real. Anything else, as soon as your mind leaves this moment, the here and now, as soon as your mind goes to the future, the future isn't real. It's just an idea in your head. It's a fantasy. And even the past, it's not real either because it's just your interpretation of the past. It's not the topic of the video, but we even create false memories. It's a fantastic topic. You can look up, you know, you can Google this. We actually even create, you can make somebody create a false memory. So it's a fantasy. So when you leave the here and now, then you start creating this fantasy. And what's happening with pessimism and being discouraged is that your fantasy is not aligned with reality. So you've become disconnected from reality. So what do you have to do? Well, we have to stop, you know, cut this at the source. By following one of the tips of the 3T path, which is to keep your mind completely in the here and now. We're going to try to maintain our mind. We're going to discipline our mind. We're talking, this is the, you know, we're, this is a yoga path. This knowledge is coming from the yoga path. It's all about discipline of your mind. You have to discipline your mind. You have to train your mind. We use this word like train, like you train an animal. You have to train your mind. You have to educate and train your mind so that you're in the here and now. So you're going to train your mind to when it starts slipping into the fantasy paradigm to bring it back to the reality paradigm, which is going to be in the here and now. But one key point of the 3T path is that you're going to bring it back to your Dharma. What does that mean? You're going to bring it back to your purpose, to what you have to do. That's the key secret ingredient of the 3T path. We want to keep our minds always focused on our purpose which we call Dharma in Sanskrit. Like, what is my nature? What do I have to do to express myself? What is the best, purest expression of myself at this moment, right now? What can I do? So your purpose. And I explained in the 3T path, I'm not gonna do this here. We have seven categories. <clears throat> of purpose, seven dharmas connected to the seven chakras. And this is something I explain in my book, The 3T Path, and in this channel as well. But the point is, so you bring your mind, you try to train your mind to always be focused on your action, based on your purpose, on your nature. That way, there's not much room for discouragement and pessimism because what your only metric, what you're analyzing is how am close to myself am I being? How faithful to my own self am I being? How much 
effort am I putting into my own actions? You see, everything is right there. Did you, did you hear all those words? They were all about you. It's your effort, your action, your nature. It is completely in your hands. So therefore, you're no longer depending. Oh, I think reality should be like this. And then it comes like this. And you're like, oh, I'm so discouraged. I'm so pessimistic. Everything turns out differently. No, it's no longer a gamble. It's no longer a fantasy. Now you're focused on what you have to do right here, right now. So let me know if that was clear. If you have any questions, please leave your questions below. I truly appreciate your questions, your contact, your liking, and your subscribing to this channel. It's very small still. We're still growing. So it's really important. All your support, sharing, liking, and subscribing. So thank you very much. And have a wonderful day with lots of peace and lots of love.